Thank you, Jesus. Makoshaya Hanagablagada. Thank you for this third day of October. Thank you for this brand new month. Thank you for a new day. Thank you for a new chapter. For you said our blessings are new every morning. And you daily load us up with your benefits. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh God. Mali Trabosh. You have brought us into the last quarter of the year 2023. Amazing grace. Awesome God. Awesome God. That you have held us together from the month of January. And you brought us into this brand new month. Father Lord, we do not take this for granted. Some people are not here with us in this month of October. They did not make it. They are not alive. They do not even know what October looks like. Father, but it is in your infinite mercy that as many of us that are still alive, that we can still communicate that we are watching this video and um, we are still in Nigeria and Nigeria is still standing. We just bless you, oh God. We worship you. We worship you. Hallowed be your holy name forever. Blessed be your holy name forever. You are the sovereign God. You are God almighty. There is no God like you. You are God all by yourself. Oh, Lord God, we judge you faithful. Thank you. Thank you for what you have been doing for us, most especially in Elisha Maide Ministries International. I see your hand of love. I see your hand of mercy. I see how you have been, you know, upholding this commission. Thank you for the many testimonies on this platform. Thank you for another day, this Tuesday morning of the 3rd of October, on this healing platform of Anitoshmi. Father, Lord, I know that you are going to touch as many lives that are under the sound of my voice this morning. Blessed be God forever. Hallowed be your holy name. Hallowed Thank you for Nigeria. We are a blessed nation. We are a blessed people. We are not a corrupt nation. We have good leadership. We have good people. We have unity. I'm calling those things that are not as though they are. Father, Lord, then we are calling Nigeria to be what we want to want it to be. We are a blessed people. We are not a corrupt nation. We are not known for fraud. We are not known for corruption. We have good governance. It is well with our youths. Our youths are not into vices. They are not into drugs. They are righteous children. In the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you for a peaceful nation. Thank you for a nation of unity. Thank you for united we stand in this nation. Thank you for good governance. Thank you for good leaders. Malahandra Kablagashaya, Handra Bakashaya. Thank you for the, you know, good armed forces. Thank you for good policemen. Mahita that, that, that watch out for the interest of the people. We just bless you. Bless you for all that you are doing for us as a nation. That Nigeria has not been destroyed and we are still standing. Lord God, be thou exalted. Hallowed be your name forever. Hallowed be your name forever. Hallowed be your name forever. Be thou exalted, exalted, exalted. Emmanuel, be thou exalted, exalted, exalted. Emmanuel, be thou exalted, exalted. Exalted Emmanuel, be thou exalted, exalted, exalted Emmanuel. Hallelujah, be thou exalted, be enthroned, Lord Jesus, over this nation, Nigeria, be enthroned in our lives, be enthroned in our families, be enthroned in our communities, be enthroned in the nations of the world. Take your place and reign forever. Be thou exalted, O God, in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus to establish your mind on this platform this morning. The shed blood of the eternal covenant. The blood that conquers Satan, that spoil principalities, that spoil powers. That made an open show of the enemy. The blood of Jesus that speak a better things more than the blood of Abel. Malidrabosha. Let that blood establish your will. Let that blood establish your purpose. Let that blood establish your mind on this platform this morning concerning our personal lives, concerning our family, 
concerning our communities and concerning our nations and, and our nation and nations of the world. In the name of Jesus, take your place. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified, O God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, at this hour, I ask you to take over. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I ask that the angels of this commission, O Lord God, be activated for service at this hour. And they will enter the forums of this earth. Even as this, the word of God is coming forth, the word of God is coming forth, they bring it into physical manifestation according to your divine purpose. In all levels, O Lord God of authorities, in the name of Jesus, have your place, O God. Rule and reign forever, Lord Jesus. Be enthroned, be enthroned over all the earth. In Jesus Christ, almighty name I pray. I declare this meeting open at this hour in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Independence, Nigeria. Happy 63rd Independence of our nation. So this morning, you all will know that what is on my heart, it is to pray for our nation on this, on this platform, to pray healing for our land, to pray healing for our land. So um, that is what we are going to be doing on this platform this morning because we are still in the spirit of, you know, our independence anniversary of our, you know, of, of our nation. And I know that a lot of people, I mean, I was online yesterday. I was, you know, scrolling from page to page, from one place to the other. <laughs> it was just a few handful people that were excited, that were celebrating Nigeria. But I understand, I understand the mood of the nation. I understand the mind of the people. I understand that people are so disappointed. And I was reading comments. I was, you know, um, watching out for what people are saying. And they were like, what is there to celebrate? What anniversary? What clinical? What we, but it's still our nation. We have no other nation. We, we, this is the only nation we have. And we have to keep celebrating. Our, by celebrating Nigeria, we are, we are pouring out hope. We are pour, pouring out confidence in the God that created nations. Jesus Christ is the governor amongst the nations. He rules. He rules over the affairs of men. I don't care what anybody else is saying out there. God rules over the affairs of men. He is the governor amongst the nations. So he's interested in Nigeria and he has Nigeria in his hands. He has Nigeria in his hands. He loves this nation. He loves the people of Nigeria. I tell you, if not, Nigeria will not be standing at this hour with everything we've gone through, with what has been rubbed in our face in this nation. And we are still standing. We can see the power of prayer is holding Nigeria together. I don't care if anybody believes it or not. It is the prayer of the saints. The prayers of people that still believe Nigerian peace of hopelessness. In the name of the resurrected Jesus. God is going to bring us out of everything that we are going through as a nation. And as a people. All the things that we are seeing over Nigeria right now. Will be a thing of the past. And I decree this by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Mahanda Kalabaka Shire. We are going to be a sought after nation. Nigeria is going to be a sought after nation. People are going to sort us out. Nigeria passport that people see right now and they despise and they look down upon. The time is going to come that it will be one of the most sought after, you know, passports on the face of the earth. This is a decree. And this is a prophecy, not just for my mouth. It is a prophecy that is hanging over this nation. And the set time for that prophecy to begin to speak over Nigeria is now. In the name of Jesus, at this hour concerning this nation, I join my voice with as many voices. I join this altar of healing this morning with as many altars that God has raised in righteousness across nations of the earth that are interceding. In the goodness of God, according to the mind of God, in his righteousness concerning our nation, that Nigeria, you know, we enter its prophetic destiny. Nigeria, we enter its prophetic destiny. All of these things that we are seeing will be a thing of the past. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we will rise out of this abyss of 
hopelessness. We will keep riding. Let's keep riding on it's not going to be destroyed. Believe me, there are some things that God has set in motion before now. If he was not interested for the salvation of this nation, that the best will come out of this nation, God will, you know, God does not waste his time. It's not the time waster. He doesn't do things for the fun of it. There are some things he has raised great ministers, great apostles to do ahead of time because he has interest in Nigeria. He has raised a lot of, you know, people to stand in the gap for Nigeria, people that you and I do not even know about for across the nations of the world, people in their closet interceding for this nation, people that he has sent ahead of, you know, ahead years back to go and do prophetic acts to make sure that the satanic imagination and intent concerning Nigeria does not come to pass. So if you all think that all of those things are for nothing, then you really don't know that the God, you really don't know the God that we serve. God is so intentional in everything that he does. He's very, very int intentional. So God is interested in Nigeria. God is interested in the outcome of this nation. You know, God is interested in the people of this nation because Nigeria has a prophetic destiny. I do not care when people listen to this, they mock these words, they laugh at these words. They are like, okay, with everything you people have been saying, look at it right now. It is okay. Even Israel, the firstborn nation of, of God, they were in bondage for 430 years. 430 years. They were being tortured by their slave masters. They went through all sorts of things, but they had a covenant from God. They had, you know, they're people of covenant. They had words from God that, you know, they were going to enter the promised land, that God was going to take them to the promised land. 430 years in slavery, in hard labor, in oppression, they were there. But that word, word of God was still hanging. That word of God was still speaking over their destiny as a nation. And when it was time, Malahandra Bashayagara, when it was time, God sent a Moses, a deliverer. He sent a Moses, a deliverer, to deliver them from bondage in Egypt. And God moved in, in, in his almightiness, in his awesomeness as God, in his sovereignty as God to deliver his people. Nigeria, we are a people of God. You know, Psalm 33 verse 12 says, Blessed is a nation whose God is the Lord and a people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. Nigeria has been chosen for God's inheritance. God has an interest. If not, Nigeria will have gone, gone down by now. But God has an interest in this nation. And Nigeria is not going to be destroyed. Somebody needs to really believe that and be encouraged and not give up. I know a lot of people are jack they are, they are taking up. It's understandable. Who will not want a better life? Who will not want a greener pasture? Anybody and everybody wants that. And if they are able to do that and they feel that's what will give them healing for now, that is okay. But I want you to know that Nigeria is going to be great again. Nigeria is going to be great again. God is going to bring us out of this abyss of hopelessness in the name of the resurrected Jesus. God is going to bring us out of everything that we are going through as a nation and as a people. All the things that we are seeing over Nigeria right now will be a thing of the past. And I decree this by the Lord. We enter its prophetic destiny. Nigeria will enter its prophetic destiny. All of these things that we are seeing will be a thing of the past. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we will rise out of this abyss of hopelessness. We will keep riding. Let's keep riding on Nigeria. You know, on the 1st of October, I posted a pic, you know, of a woman riding on the horse with uh, our, our, our flag, national flag, green, white, green. That is actually a prophetic message. We have to keep riding. We have to keep moving. We have to keep going. No, no stopping us as a people and as a nation. Because Nigeria is a great nation. It has great destiny. And we we'll keep riding till we get to the place of victory. To that Nigeria of our dreams. To those visions, those prophecies that has been spoken over this nation. 
Uh, we don't have a prophecy, prophecy of doom over Nigeria, so Nigeria cannot be doomed. We don't have a prophecy of destruction over Nigeria, so Nigeria cannot be destroyed. Who is Nigeria? So this money, if you are saying, ah, I'm here for healing. Who is Nigeria? If Nigeria is not here, how can, you, how, how can we as a people be healed? Who is Nigeria? You are Nigeria. I am Nigeria. Nigeria needs healing. That means I need healing. Nigeria needs to progress. That means I need to progress. The economy of this nation needs to get better. That means my economy and my finances needs to get, need to get better. So when we are praying for Nigeria, we are actually praying for ourselves. So this morning on this platform, it is we have come to humble ourselves before God, to pray for mercy for Nigeria, to pray for mercy for Nigeria. And as we are praying for Nigeria, we are actually praying for ourselves. We are praying for our families. We are praying for our communities and we are praying for nations of the world that God created. So I'm going to just read this scripture again. You know, on, on the 1st of um, October, I was invited alongside with some other ministers for us to intercede in a prayer project concerning Nigeria. And I was so honored and privileged to be part of that, which, you know, um, on the 1st of, of, of October of every year, I'm always, in, you know, um, part of any prayer project, one, one thing or the other program concerning the nation. So it was a great privilege for me. And uh, we prayed, we prayed uh, for our land, but there was a major message I was sending out. I was actually asked to pray for help for our, our, our nation. We all know that Nigeria needs serious help right now. We need help as a people. We need help as a nation. But what I said, what God laid in my spirit when I was getting ready for that program, you know, when I received that uh, topic of prayer, I was like, help for Nigeria. Okay, that means God needs to send a deliverer. God needs to send somebody that we have the wisdom, that we have the capacity, that we have the strength, that we have the knowledge, that we have the understanding, that we have the fear of the Lord, that we have the spirit of the Lord to be able, that we have the might of the Lord, the counsel of the Holy Spirit, to be able to undo the affairs of this nation, to take us out of this abyss of darkness and hopelessness into the promised land. And as I began to search the scripture, everything was still, you know, coming back to the light, to the light, to us, to us as a church, to us as a people. He said, we are, we are the light of the world. If he says we are, we are not the light of the church, that is one mistake, the body of Christ, we always make. Everything, we want to stay in the church. Everything, we want to be spiritual. Everything, just going to the church, pray for your own salvation, pray for deliverance, Pray for healing for yourself, for your family. Pray for money. Pray for business. No. The light is not for the church. It's for the world. He said, we are the light of the world. We are the, we are the salt of the earth. After you have been equipped with all of these blessings, full of light from the Lord, our responsibility is to go and shed this light abroad abroad we have to share it abroad with the lot of love of the holy ghost that has been spread abroad in our hearts so we take this light out we disseminate it we release it into every areas of darkness in our world we are light christ is light and that light is in us he is life and that life is the light of man and that light is the light that lighted every man that entered the world. So every human being carries the light of God. So we need to go and shed that light into every form of darkness. So this morning, I'm just going to encourage us to be light to our world, to remember that we cannot give up concerning Nigeria, to remind us that God has a solid interest concerning this nation, and he loves us as a people. He loves us as a nation. He has not abandoned us as offers. Is interested in everything that has to do with Nigeria. I will just repeat this scripture. It's a popular one. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, Psalm 46 verse 1. It says, God is our refuge and our strength. An ever-present help in trouble. We need help of God. We are in trouble in Nigeria. There's no gain saying about that. Anybody that says anything other than that, you are living in denial or you are just deceiving yourself, or you are among the privileged few that um, 
are in a good state. But it is not just about yourself. It is about a whole nation. It is about a whole people. It is about, you know, not just thinking of yourself, that things are okay for you, okay for your family. It is about remembering that, you know, other people are suffering and you should empathize with them and identify with their situation. That is who we are as people of God. So he said, like God is our strength, our refuge and strength and ever present help in the time of trouble. Father, Lord, please help us. Help us. We need help in Nigeria right now in the name of Jesus. He says, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the most high dwells. God is within her. God is within her. She will not fall. Nigeria will not fall. God is within this nation.